I'm gonna go Indonesia gets fourth. And I'll be cheering for them no. to get fourth. And I want everyone to know oh. that like, I'll be cheering as if Indonesia can get fourth because I do believe that they can. Oh, this is by good. far though the hardest group. Indonesia, this is guys. crazy. Mantap, guys, eh? This is crazy. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. Selamat kembali lagi ke channel Syahizah Rajak. Terima kasih kepada teman-teman yang telah subscribe kepada channel ini. Kepada teman-teman yang baru jumpa channel ini, mohon untuk tekan butang subscribe dan juga butang loceng. Hari ini kita nak buat reaksi kepada satu video dari channel The Gift and go. Okey, ini adalah sebuah channel yang agak popular juga. Channel ini daripada Amerika guys eh dan uh, banyak membahaskan tentang sepak bola hmm, dari sisi pandang warga Amerika guys eh. Uh, ini bukan sahaja bola sepak di Amerika saja tetapi seluruh dunia lah guys eh. Mari kita lihat ada satu video ni berkenaan dengan reaksi mereka berkenaan dengan kualifikasi PL Dunia pusingan ketiga guys eh yang melibatkan timnas Indonesia. Mari guys kita react sama-sama videonya. Let's go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome hey, back guys. to the Give and Go. I'm your host Reno, so here with my boy Soltero. What's up, guys? We've been talking Copa America and Euros non-stop for the past two to three weeks, but we're still going to fit in an AFC World Cup third round draw reaction because. I'm so interested in the narratives in this region and the folks that watch us know just how interested we are. I'm interested to see where does Indonesia land? Dude. Where's a team like Kuwait who snuck their way into this tournament? Where do they land? A team like Japan, yeah. a team like uh, Iran, for example. Jordan too. Jordan too, man. New coach. New coach. The narratives are very, very interesting. And so despite how busy we are, I want you to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us because of the work we're putting in. It's time to talk Asian football, more specifically AFC third round World Cup qualifiers. We've avoided the draw completely today. Yeah. So this is completely new to us. Let's, let's get a read. See, let's let's get a read. It. Let's look at group C. Let's look at group C. Let's see. What these teams have to Australia. oh Australia I forgot about Australia I forgot about Australia <laughs> I forgot about Australia God damn it Oh God man That's tough for Indonesia This is by far the toughest group. Ah This was our fear man Yeah guys? This was our fear Yeah Group yang paling Wow <laughs> Okay well, hold on hold on hold on Neraka guys eh? Fourth place is wide open. Fourth place okay, is wide okay, open. Okay, okay. So Indonesia can still qualify for the bonus fourth round. That's all you can hope for. That's now. all you can hope for because there's absolutely no way Indonesia is finishing the top two. Let's just be completely honest. No, no, no disrespect there. I think yeah. Japan, Australia, Saudi Arabia are very, very strong teams. That's fine. Indonesia can beat China. Yes, they can beat Bar. They can beat Bahrain. Bahrain will be That'd tough. Be tough. That'd be though. Tough. Bahrain team. will be tough. Bahrain's yeah. probably the toughest mid-tier team in the, uh, out of all these three groups. And, let's be honest. Okay, but, okay, now let's say this: <laughs> out of all the out of those three teams, Bahrain, <laughs> China, and Indonesia, who's more likely to get a surprise result against one of the top three teams: Japan, Australia, Saudi Arabia? Is it Indonesia? Mm. Is it Bahrain with mm. their defense? Is it China? Who gets the surprise result? Because I think that might end up determining who goes through in that, that fourth place size. Who gets the point. upsets? Great point. Maybe Indonesia, man. Yeah. Maybe Indonesia. I, if you mm. look at this group, I mean, clearly the top two will be some version of Japan, Australia. There's just, there's no question about that. Yeah. They are the clear favorites in this group. Saudi Arabia are on a bit of a decline, but they still have good talent. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll, be, that'll get them enough to finish in third place. The fourth place spot is wide open, but my goodness, uh... This is this is the toughest group, bro. Group of death. Bahrain and China. China's well, uh, incredibly stout defensively. That's going to be tough for any team to crack. Even Japan's going to struggle against China. Um, and Bahrain are just a good team. They're well balanced. They have really good offensive pieces, and they also are pretty good on the defensive end. Ali Madan. And, Ali Madan. And then you have Indonesia, who are a wild card. They're mm -hmm. very good offensively. Defensively, I think, is where things get shaky for Indonesia, but their offense is enough to get a couple of surprise results. But over the course of 10 games, man, guessing that fourth place spot is going to be very difficult. Indonesia needs to shore up their defense. Cause yeah. This could be a factor of goal differential. Yeah. yeah. That could come into play. And if Bahrain and mm. China have at least somewhat formidable defenses, Indonesia might have tough luck in this tournament Gosh, they might man. i'm not saying they will i just think that's the biggest thing they need to work on is not even their offense because they we know they can score oh, goals oh yeah offense i'm goals. not worried about can they defend man can they defend against teams like japan australia saudi arabia and try not to concede more than three goals in each of those matches you know play up to their level because china and bahrain i think are going to be very really good about that let's submit the predictions 
Uh, I think the first three are perfectly in order. Japan, Australia, Agreed. Saudi Arabia. Agreed. I but think it's going to be crazy tight between Bahrain and Indonesia. Like crazy tight. Uh, if the two played right now, I don't know if I could say there's a definitive winner. I'll be honest. I think they're, I think they're dead even. Truly, it's fifty fifty. Flip yeah. a coin, heads Bahrain, tails Indonesia. Um, Bahrain have 50, the better 50. players, let's say, right? Indonesia have the more potential, though. Yes. The potential of Indonesia is higher than the current status of Bahrain. So if you hope that Indonesia hit their stride sometime within the next 18 months, then there's Ooh. a great chance. There is a great chance that Indonesia finish in fourth place. The thing is, we know the limitations of Bahrain. We know them. We know them. Same with China. I don't know what the limitations of the Indonesian side are. <laughs> no. I don't know the heights that they can reach. I don't want to be on the wrong side of history because if they pop off, bro, we're going to, I mean, I, I'm going to be, I want to be a part of this Indonesian movement. That'd be so fun. I want to be part of That'd it. That'd be so fun. So, you know, for the sake of the channel, for the sake of the people that watch, because I know we have a lot of Indonesian viewers, I'm going to go Indonesia gets fourth. And I'll be cheering for them no. to get fourth. And I want everyone to know Whoa. that, like, I'll be cheering as if Indonesia can get fourth because I do believe that they can. Oh, this is good. by far, though, the hardest. Group. This, Indonesia, is guys. Mantap, guys, this is crazy. On a, not even just for Indonesia. Dapat, China and Bahrain uh, low key got screwed. Uh, yeah, you really think about it. They got super keempat, unlucky eh. considering you're facing one of the best AFC teams as well as really good mid-tier yeah, opponents. Yeah, yeah. Folks, Raka, we need to know what you think about these results. If you're Indonesian, if you're from Palestine, from Oman, from Jordan, anywhere in the AFC region that is competing in these tournaments, let us know what you think about the draw results because I think this is this is mind-boggling. Alright guys, itu dia eh. Uh, perbincangan atau perbahasan dua rakan kita ni. Kalau kita lihat daripada grup tu, memang sangat sukar guys eh. Untuk Indonesia layak secara automatiknya lah untuk mendapat tempat pertama dan kedua. Kalau kita tengok daripada susunan tadi Jepun, Australia dan Arab Saudi tu adalah tiga pasukan yang teratas yang memang sukar untuk dikalahkan dan mungkin kedudukan yang diletakkan itu memang tepat eh dan kalau kita lihat daripada jadual tadi dua pasukan akan layak secara automatik terus ke Piala Dunia dan akan ada lagi dua pasukan tempat ketiga dan tempat keempat akan bermain lagi dalam pusingan keempat dan kalau kita lihat daripada grup itu guys peluang untuk Indonesia Layak ini memang agak mustahil tetapi kalau kita lihat dari segi prestasi sekarang ini China dan juga Bahrain eh kalau kita lihat dua pasukan ni yang mungkin Indonesia boleh untuk kalahkan sekarang ini mengalami prestasi yang agak menurun dan jika Indonesia mempunyai prestasi yang sangat baik pada ketika kualifikasi Piala Dunia ni aku rasa memang Indonesia boleh layak guys eh tetapi bila berhadapan dengan tiga pasukan teratas itu jangan concede goal maksudnya jangan bolos yang banyak guys eh kena jaga untuk jangan bolos yang banyak itulah yang telah dikatakan oleh rakan kita tadi berkenaan jika layak boleh tetapi jangan ada bolos kerana kemungkinan gol bolos itu akan dikira untuk kelayakan untuk mendapatkan tempat yang keempat tu guys eh so tempat yang keempat itu sangat penting kerana aku rasa mungkin Indonesia akan uh, compete dengan China, Bahrain guys. Tiga pasukan ni mungkin akan compete untuk tempat keempat. At least, at least guys eh. Itu sekurang-kurangnya untuk dapat tempat keempat. Targetnya untuk pergi ke pusingan keempat. Tetapi, jika prestasinya memang sangat baik, aku rasa tidak mustahil untuk Indonesia untuk dapat tempat yang ketiga guys eh. Wow, itu pencapaian yang sangat tinggi untuk dapat tempat ketiga dalam grup tu. Tetapi, at least tempat keempat guys eh untuk masuk ke pusingan keempat kelaikan Piala Dunia ni guys so aku yakin aku doakan juga semoga prestasi Indonesia dapat meningkat pada perlawanan-perlawanan kualifikasi Piala Dunia akan datang bulan September nanti guys eh dan kita nantikan juga berita berkenaan dengan beberapa pemain-pemain yang punya darah keturunan seperti Oleg Ramani Kevin Dix dapat bergabung guys eh untuk membantu lagi dan diharapkan juga Martin Pais juga boleh bermain guys eh itu yang kita harapkan dan itulah yang membantu untuk sekat seberapa banyak Peluang tim-tim tiga atas tadi ya Jepun, Australia dan juga Arab Saudi tu guys. Apa pendapat teman-teman berkenaan dengan prediksinya guys eh. Kita doakan semoga ada sinar untuk Indonesia guys. Okay guys. Terima kasih kerana menonton video ini sampai habis. Jangan lupa untuk tinggalkan komennya di bawah. Kita jumpa dalam video akan datang. Assalamualaikum.